Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Coding Care. Today I will discuss one of the most interview question on Java 8. It is not only for 1 year of experience. Mainly this question is asked for 2 years, 3 years, 4 years uh, and 5 years also. Okay. So probably in the Java 8, they are asking like uh, what is stream API or what is functional interface, how it's working, then how many functional interfaces is there. Okay. So this is theory question, theory based best question okay the thing is most of the time the interviewer will ask the coding question on stream api suppose i have a employee class and from the employee class just filter out something or we need to do some group by operation okay all these operations they are asking and sometimes these are the questions uh, they are not able to capable the answer the question okay so today i'll discuss the most important interview question on that okay suppose here i have one class okay employee class i have already an employee class employee class have id name age gender department years of joining and salary and uh, i have a list of employee here the first question is print the name of all department in the organization in this organization there are different different department is there hr finance engineering marketing so i want to print this department name okay how i'll print it to i'll create the object of util class right util equal to new employee util util dot employee list okay so it will return a list of list of employee correct list of employee this is emp list okay now what i'll do emp list first i'll create the stream okay stream then i'll do map so the map function what it will do it will transform each of the object okay so in here i just uh, use the lambda function okay emp dot get department okay then i just convert it to to list now it will return a list of string so this is nothing but department list right department list here if i print this one okay department list then what it will print so it will print all these department name but if you will see here this finance team two times is there but i want only one time okay so you can do here dot distinct okay distinct now run now only one department name came so it's a unique now so instead of this one i can use the method reference directly i can use like employee employee dot get department okay this one also it will work yeah so first we are doing map then we are doing distinct okay now the second question is what is the average age of male and female employees okay just copy this one what is the average age of male and female employees first what i will do I'll read all the object and I'll do group by grouping. Okay, one male group and one is female group. And based on the male group and the female group, I'll calculate the average age. Okay, so first what we will do emp list dot stream. Then after create uh, emp list dot stream dot I can simply just collect it. Okay, uh, I just using the collectors to collect the result. Okay, collectors. So what I'll do, I'll do grouping by, right, grouping by. So if we'll do group by, based on which variable or based on which field you will do group by, I'll group by based on the gender, right. So here we can write like employee double colon get gender. So based on the gender, I'll just group by, okay. Then what I'll do, I just calculate the average age, okay, average age. So I can do collectors in collectors one method called averaging int okay averaging int so it will give the average age okay average age means what like which age this male age or female age right so we need to mention the variable name so it will calculating the averaging okay based on which variable i can mention employee double colon dot get age okay now i just return it okay fpg h 
this out abgh now i'll just print it yeah now the female is 29.0 and male is 30.35.8 now the third question is how many female and male employees in our organization okay so how many male and female employees similar kind of thing how many male and female means we need to first group based on the gender okay then uh, it will create two group one is male group and one is female group and in each group how many employees there i just wanted to count so in the previous question in each group how what is the averaging age but here the count i just wanted to calculate then same thing like em list dot stream okay dot stream dot i can just collect it and i'll use this collectors method collectors dot grouping by so i'll group based on the gender right employee double colon get gender okay then i'll counting right so collectors have one method collectors dot counting okay now i'll return and it will return a map so instead of collect here i can write like number of count on each group okay and just print it as out okay now just print it yeah the female have five and male is also five now the next question is get the details of highest paid employee okay so get the details of highest paid employee so who is getting highest we need to calculate so first what we can do we can either we can sort this uh, employee list in descending order and the first one we can get okay or we can use the mets method directly okay so here i can employee list dot stream dot okay i have one max method and inside this max method we need to pass the comparator okay so we can do comparator is an in interface okay comparator dot okay we do comparing and we will comparing based on the salary right so we can use employee dot get salary okay so it will return one optional of employee okay max max emp sell okay s out okay max employee dot get now i just print it this one i'll, I'll got nine id is one one nine uh, name is uh, john okay this one this one is highest paid employee but sometimes the interviewer is doing tricky like if you check here hari is getting 45000 and john also getting 45000 but here we are printing only one so it's not correct right and how we will do we can do one thing emp list dot stream then i use the filter okay to filter out right so i'll read one by one of employee and i'm using lambda function if emp dot get salary is equal to equal to of this maximum employee salary salary okay dot get of dot get salary this i am reading one by one of the employee salary and checking if this salary is equal to with this one okay then only i am returning then i'll, I'll just convert to list so it will return list of employees now i can just print out this one this list of okay this is list of highest paid employee highest paid employee okay now i just run this one yeah now i got two things so i'm removing this part okay i just print one system dot out dot print ln see here id 119 and okay id 120 next question is get the name of all employees who have joined after 2015 So, get the name of all employees who have joined after 2015. After 2015 means we have to filter, right? Who is joined after 2015. So, here I can do like emp list dot stream dot filter. So, filter 
emp okay emp dot get so i'll filter based on the year right so this is the year yeah this is the year right so i'll filter based on the year get year of joining okay is greater than 2015 then i just collect it dot collect of collectors dot to list okay so in this way you can write or instead of writing collect dot collectors dot to list we can direct we can make this to list yeah now it will return list of employees 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 join after 2015 now i just print it s out yeah see this is the list okay instead of printing like this i am using for each loop for employee emp colon employee up joined after 2015 so here i am printing as out emp okay let's run yeah so this is the employee who has joined after 2015 see this is 2018 this is 2018 21 22 23 okay next question count the number of employees in each department okay so in each department so if you see here the department hr is the department finance engineering and market and sales and design okay this is the department so department wise will count the employee number in each uh, for each department how many employees is there okay so in each department right so we will uh, make by group grouping okay so employee list dot stream dot collect of collectors dot grouping by so i'll make the grouping by based on which one based on department okay grouping by employee double colon i am using method reference here double colon department right so here get department then then based on the department okay first i'll make the group grouping okay then what i'll calculate based on the department in each department how many employees is there i need to counting right so collectors collectors dot counting that's it so it will return a map here yeah so department wise emp list okay then i can print this one so how to print this map i can use department wise employee list dot that's an entry set yeah it will return a set of map entry yeah now i'm doing for each for <coughs> entry okay map dot entry then employee colon entries okay here i just print a sort okay employee dot so instead of making this employee it's one entry okay so entry dot get key and plus okay entry dot not entry entry is country entry dot get value that's it let's run so in design department only one employee is there engineering department two employees is there like this we can group okay and we can count up employee in each department next question is what is the average salary uh, of each department similar kind of thing see here here what is the average salary of each department here also each departments so similar kind of thing we first we have to make it as group okay so emp list dot stream dot collect of collectors dot grouping by okay so i'll grouping by based on again department right so here i can use employee 
double colon get department then here i will not calculate the count instead of i will calculate the average salary okay so here one method is there collectors dot averaging double so here we will pass the salary okay so employee double colon get salary so based on the salary it will calculate okay so it will return again it's a map average salary on each department okay it's a map right so how i can print so i can print like average salary get or key set okay so this is one of the way we can print also this is this one we can use like entry set so first here i am doing first reading all the key okay it will return a set of key so this is key set now s out okay now i'll use a for loop so string emp okay comma key set now this is something emp key okay now what i'll do s out of first i'll use key right mm, emp key plus okay here then i'll print the value first key and value then average salary on department dot get up i'll pass the emp key right yeah now run this application yeah so it is mixed up okay it's fine see in design 32000 here department wise average salary is calculated okay next question is get the details of the youngest male employee in engineering department here youngest male employees in the engineering department first we have to filter the engineering department and he should be male employees right the first thing is employee list dot stream dot filter so first it's he should be male employees so here i can use emp okay employee employee dot get uh, gender get gender dot equals ignore case of he should be male first filter this one and then and he should be engineering department so employee dot get department dot equal ignore case of engineering right eng engineering department now dot then i'll calculate the youngest male youngest means minimum right so i'll use okay so in minimum method we have to pass the comparator right because here i'll pass the comparator so comparator dot comparing int of i'll pass what i'll pass so it's saying the youngest male youngest how i'll calculate the youngest based on the joining here right so here i'll pass employee double colon get year of joining okay so it will return a optional of employee so this is youngest male emp okay so s out youngest male employees dot get let's run why it's giving error okay yeah this is the youngest male employees id 17 this is one engineering and this is an another engineering so here he has joined 2022 and here 2019 so 2019 should be come right here yeah so here video is too long so in the next video i will discuss this question if you have any question please reach out me on the comment section and i'll answer all the questions Thank you guys